Try to see it my way Do I have to keep on talking till I can go on While you see it your way Run the risk of knowing that our love may soon be gone Okay, it's late at night And uh, you'll probably hear some snoring in the background and I've got to be kind of quiet. Okay. On the weekends, you know, John is here. And uh, John and I have been together for about eight years. So, but he goes to bed, you know, fairly early. Yeah. Officially, you know, he's my boyfriend. And uh, sometimes I think of him as my caretaker, though. Um. At night is when I do most of my thinking and when I overthink, as Newt says. Um, and right now I'm, you know, thinking about the trip and I am getting ready. I mean, I have my tickets and today I went out and bought a few things that I need for it. Um, shampoo and travel, uh, toothpaste things like that. I went to the Walgreens on the corner. This was the second time I've been out of my house since uh, last May. I'm sorry about the snoring, but John snores, you know, what are you going to do? I don't know what to say, but I'm just so nervous, you know, about going down there and meeting people. I hope that I've represented myself, you know, honestly online. You know, that's another thing that I worry about. And uh, I try to be very real. There's been a lot. I wrote a list of the reasons why I'm nervous about this trip. The first and foremost reason, and this is going to sound really silly, is my uh, lack of proximity to chocolate milk. I know that sounds bizarre, but um, the reason is because when I'm real nervous, I will go in and get a glass of chocolate milk and drink it. It's like comfort food or something, you know. some reason it calms me down. Uh, another reason is that um, because I am a recluse and I've let things slide. Um, like a driver's license, I don't own one, I don't have one. And so I feel like I might be a burden on people. Um, because they're going to have to transport me. Oh, dang hair. Okay, now that I've had my hair crisis. <laughs> Another reason is that, and, you know, when I wrote the list, I was like, well, you know, a lot of these have to do with food. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm so bad. I have food issues. Uh, whatever. Um, it's that I'm a coffee addict. And first off, I'm going to bring my own coffee with me because, you know, I thought of that. I thought, well, you know, I, I have to bring my own coffee because I like a certain brand. And then I'm like, oh my God, you know, I wonder what kind of coffee maker there is there and all that. Okay, then my next thing is the train trip itself, you know, is the fact that I have to be around a lot of people. And even when I do go out, like today, I went out to Walgreens, uh, the drugstore, you know, to pick up, like, I needed some cold cream and... I'm all, I was almost out. That's the only thing I use on my face generally. Uh, when I, I don't wear makeup that often, but I put some on today because I had uh, decided to buy some powder while I was at Walgreens and wanted to try it out, and that ended up being a whole thing, putting my face on, you know. Uh, then, so I have to be around people, uh, strangers, and that's very difficult. 
I don't go to the grocery store and I don't go to places where there's a lot of people because it makes me really very nervous. I mean, panic attack time, kind of nervous. I have to cheer myself up for it. And the last time that I went, when I went to Tulsa to meet Newt for the first time, uh, I ended up having a panic attack. I had, you know, tried very hard to be, you know, cheer myself up and be real strong. And, you know, I, the funny thing is, is that I hide it, you know, I, I, I try to be real friendly and nice and, you know, all that. And all the time inside I'm quaking. I'm like, you know, shaking in my boots, having to talk. And I am real vocal and, you know, I th everything seems perfect and all that, but it's not. You know, inside I'm scared to death. I'm, you know, that whole flight, fight syndrome's going off and eventually I do run. Eventually I just run and hide. And so that's another thing that worries me is finding a place to hide because my motel's going to be across town so I can't just take off and go to my room, you know. And so I'm going to have to somehow explain to somebody, you know. I don't know. Nervous. Uh, another thing is bathrooms and where are they and how close are they. <laughs> Concern about that, you know. So I'm nervous. I'm just a nervous wreck. And we'll see. I'm nervous. Can I tell you? And this is real. <laughs>